Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to be sitting down and actually like filming a makeup tutorial. I feel like so out of my comfort zone, you know. But anyway, um, today's video I'm going to be doing, of course, a makeup tutorial on this look that I have going on right now. It's a very cool tone brown eye with a dark lip. And let me just tell you, I'm obsessed with this lip color. Obsessed. Even though it makes my teeth look a little bit yellow, I'm still obsessed with it. I don't care. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Elizabeth. And yeah, if you guys want to know how to get this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Thanks, guys. Before we do anything, we want to prime our skin. So I'm using the Nivea's Men Sensitive Shave Balm. I'm just going to take some on my palm, kind of rub it together, and then I'm just going to put this all over my skin. Okay, so next I'm going in with my Benefit Professionals. This is a little mini one, if you can see it. I really need to invest in a big one just because I absolutely love this stuff and I don't wear my makeup without it. And if you guys never heard of the professionals, it just um, minimizes the appearance of pores and I have big pores. <laughs> so mostly like in my T-zone area. I like to put that in my skin and kind of just blend it in. Okay, so I'm going to moisturize my lips just because my lips are super dry. Like, they've been super dry lately, like more than usual. And I'm just going to use my baby lips. What is this? I don't know. These are like the old baby lips. Like the old packaging. And I can't find my other um, lip, uh, like my chapstick, so I'm just going to use this for now. Just to have some moisture on my lips because we are going to be using a lipstick. And I don't like to wear lipstick without some kind of moisture. Just because I feel that the lipstick will over dry my lips and it'll make it look all like blotchy and like all these cracks inside my lips and that is not the look I'm going for. So I'm just going to blend that out with my finger and really like press that into my lips. And then we can move on to foundation. Okay so I did my foundation off camera because I'm pretty sure you've seen me do my foundation a million times. But uh, right now we're going to move on to concealer, and I'm using two different concealers right now. I've, I'm in kind of in between two concealers. I'm using the what is this Maybelline's Master Conceal Concealer in Medium and Maybelline's Age Rewind in Light. Now I'm going to be tapping my under eyes with my finger first before I go in with the beauty blender. Just to make sure I get everything blended out. And then I like to go in with my beauty blender after. Then I like to put some like over my eye just to get rid of any redness, any veins that I have on my eyelid. Okay, so we're going to set our concealer and our highlight. And I'm using the Forever, the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder. And I'm just 
going to be using that on a real technique setting brush. But before I set my concealer, I like to go in with my beauty blender and just blend everything out. Because if you don't do this and you set your concealer first, you're just locking in those creases. And that is not cute. So I'm just going to blend that out and then just go in. And just set everything. And then I also like to put some on my lid because I put some concealer on top and I don't want any creases. So that way it's much easier when we go in with our eyeshadow. Everything is more blendable. If you feel that you have some powder on your face, I like to go in with a big brush and just kind of brush everything out. And I'm using a e.l.f. powder brush. Okay, since that's done, I'm going to do my brows off camera just because it takes a really long. So, I'll be right back in one second. So, um, I filled in my brows. And it's just because if you guys are wondering, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. And then I just used my Master Conceal by Maybelline to carve out my eyebrows. And then I just used a flat brush to apply the concealer. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so going in with this eyeshadow by NYX, it's the Nude Matte Eyeshadow in the color Trius. And it's just a very mauve brown color, and I'm taking that on a BH Cosmetics 101 brush, and I'm going to put that in my crease. Okay, so next I'm going in with this Morphe eyeshadow called Nuts For You, and it's just a chocolate, like a deep chocolate brown color. And I'm taking that on a BH Cosmetics 105 brush, and I'm placing that in to my outer and inner corner of my eye just to create a little bit more dimension. Okay, so taking that same um, color that I used for my transition, I'm going to blend um, that chocolate brown color, Nuts For You, and I'm using a Morphe M506, and I'm just going to blend that out, and I'm kind of just feathering it up a little bit. We're going in with this peach powder it's not even an eyeshadow it's a face powder it's for like more of like your underneath your eyes but I'm using this as my lid shade and I'm using that on a BH Cosmetics 103 brush and I'm just going to put that on my lid okay so I'm going to blend everything out blend all those edges out because we do not want any harsh lines Okay, so I'm going to apply some liquid liner. This is the NYX Liquid Black Liner, and I absolutely love this. But I'm going to apply this off camera just because I need it like this close to the mirror, and I'll be back in one second. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. And right now I'm using two different mascaras. I've been loving the Remel Volume Accelerator for my top lashes and then the CoverGirl the Super Sizer for my bottom lashes. Love, 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 love.
Okay, so I'm going to apply some false lashes. I'm using the Ardell Glamour in the number 105. And I'm going to use my Duo Enhancive Dark Tone. Uh, what is this? Glue. <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> wow, Liz, get it together. Lashes are on. I'm going in with Nuts For You Again by Morphe. I'm taking the same pencil brush and I'm going to bring that to my lower lash line. Okay, so I'm using my NYC White Eyeliner in white and I'm just going to put that in my lower waterline. Okay, so to warm up the face, I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Powder in C7, and I'm taking an angle brush, and I'm just going to warm up my face a little bit. So I'm going to kind of bake and clean up my uh, contour a little bit, and I'm using my Shani's Cosmetics same palette. I'm using this kind of like banana shade. And I'm just going to clean up my contour just a little bit. Okay, so while that's baking, I'm going to move on to my lips. And I'm using my NYX lip liner in brown. And I'm so excited because this is what really kind of just brings the whole look together. <laughs> Okay, so I'm taking my lip pencil and I'm just gonna slightly overdraw like my top right here just because one, I don't know if you know this, but one of my biggest insecurities are my lips. Uh, I feel like they don't go with my face, I guess. But I'm just going to overline just a little bit right here where the cupid bow, like the cupid's bow is at. And then I'm just gonna connect it and kind of make it look a little bit more natural. Okay, so for lipstick, I'm using the NYX High Voltage Lipstick in Dirty Talk. And this is just a beautiful chocolate brown. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's very creamy and very buildable. I don't know if you can see that. Very buildable. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I'm obsessed with it. Okay, since that's done, I'm just going to wipe away my powder, and I'm just going to blend everything together. Okay, so to set everything, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set Setting Spray. Dang, that's a mouthful. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and shake it a little bit. Then I like to pop that open. 
And then I like to tilt my head a little bit. And then just let it dry on its own. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. That way you guys stay up to date with me and know when I upload, which is every single week. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.